Uh, welcome to Scientific Writing Institute. Uh, this video is about uh, introduction to scientific writing and I am Professor Mukhtar. So obviously the question is why scientists write and publish and the answer is for recording of their scientific research and if high quality research is not published it is just wastage of time and money and the other thing is sharing of scientific knowledge and in scientific community uh, there is saying that publish or perish if you do high quality research you have to publish it and if you don't publish it uh, then as it is said over here it is just wastage of time and money the scientific writing is not an easy job. Uh, it is uh, full of challenges. And one of the most important challenges is organizing the information in a defined, well-structured format. And most of the uh, scientific writing, they follow this format that is known as IMRAD format. So for every scientific paper, there is an introduction part, there is a method part, result part, and discussion and conclusion. Now this scientific writing is uh, more like a skill and you achieve this skill with practice. If you want to be a good scientific writer, you have to write again and again. And the other thing is, this MRAD is a general format. However, there are several scientific journals now and based on the general requirement, the format of paper also vary. We have to keep in mind that scientific writing differs from literary writing. Uh, what is scientific writing? Basically, in scientific writing, scientists describe the results generated from research conducted by following specific procedures and these procedures are uh, scientists have to learn it that they make observation they ask a question then they formulate a hypothesis so it's a long process that we will be talking in the coming videos however the literary writing it's quite simple there is no requirement of research and the literary writing varies from person to person so it differ uh, greatly and it has several types like fiction writing, events writing, news writing, and so on. In comparing the scientific and literary writing, we have to keep in mind that scientific writing is targeted writing. And we all know that science has its own beauty and if you write that beauty in a better way, then you can really tell that beauty to the world that what science is uh, doing good things for their lives. And scientists generally, they have a targeted audience for their scientific writing. And these are discipline specific, like biology, engineering, social sciences. But nowadays, like uh, interdisciplinary science, has been making its way like bioengineering by combining biology and engineering. So, I mean, both scientists have to get involved. Biologists have to get involved. Engineering people have to get involved if we are talking about bioengineering. Okay, and uh, then the next is uh, a writer or scientist can beautify scientific issues, discoveries by converting complex concepts in easy word and this applies in both way you can write a beautiful well-crafted scientific paper and that has to have a very easy language so if a biologist can understand it well a person with engineering background should also be able to follow the work and uh, then uh, i already mentioned that there is a general writing of scientific thoughts in layman language or talking about scientific discoveries and scientific invention. So that enhance the public science literacy 
and scientists get a lot more support from the government and from the public for their science and research. So there are certain core values of good scientific writing and these are that scientific writing has to be credible and credibility matters a lot in scientific writing. You make sure that you have to provide accurate and trustworthy information. And the other characteristic that is linked with credibility, that is reproducibility. And scientific, scientific finding should always be reproducible. You have done an experiment in, let's say, North America, someone sitting in the Middle East should also be able to reproduce your finding that is called as a good scientific writing as well as good scientific research also. And the third is clarity. Scientific writing has to be clear, concise, comprehensive. And uh, I said earlier that it can be repeated by pairs. Like, I mean, if a biologist is doing a research, the other biologists should be able to repeat it. It's not only biologists, like, I mean, the engineering people, if they have the right uh, uh, equipment, right lab, uh, they should be able to reproduce the work. The work should be credible and reproducible and uh, clarity is another factor. Now, uh, last but not least is the simplicity. I mean, you have to write in simple word. Use a simple English language because that increase the readability of your paper. Uh, if you use jargons and complex uh, words, then it becomes tough for other scientists, your peer, your colleagues to follow you and not to talk about the general public or the people from, uh, uh, like, I mean, uh, other discipline of science. Thank you very much for watching and all the best on your scientific writing.